What is going on, New York Giant fans? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Also, share this out. Getting pretty close to training camp, and of course, it is a little bit of a dead time here in the NFL offseason. So, share out, do all the good stuff. We appreciate it, and more content coming your way this week via live streams, via videos as well. So, Another Roster Bubble Series video, if you guys haven't been here before with the Roster Bubble Series videos, the way I do them is I take a player that's on the Roster Bubble on the cusp of being cut or possibly put on the practice squad or whatever the case may be, basically, yeah, on the cusp of being cut, and I break them down, background, competition, how they could win a spot on the roster, how they could lose a spot on the roster during the training camp and preseason periods, and I make a prediction at the end. So that's how these videos roll, about 5 to 10 minutes long, usually sometimes a little bit longer depending on the in-depth analysis. So today's candidate is Radarius Williams, cornerback out of Oklahoma State. And it's funny because I think it's been... Three of the last four Roster Bubble Series videos have been of the 2021 draft class. Um, we did Gary Brightwell, who was also picked in the sixth round, like Radarius Williams, of the 2021 draft. We also did Ellison Smith, who was picked in the fourth round of that draft, and now we're doing Radarius Williams. Once again, sixth round, 201st overall. Uh, he may have been the last pick. I, I forget. It was either him or... Brightwell, that was the last pick by that regime. I'm pretty sure it was Williams. So in the first mistake, in the first video, I made a mistake saying that Brightwell was the last pick. But anyway, regardless of the point, Giants drafted him in 21, and he started getting training on the outside during the preseason, and he did not look very good. Against the Jets, he struggled. Against the Browns, he struggled a little bit, and it just wasn't very good to start. And they started feeding him snaps in about week three. So it was Adoree Jackson, James Bradbury. And they had different guys in the slot. They had Radarius Williams sometimes. Also, Darnay Holmes, I believe, may have been injured for a game or two. Uh, I remember Radarius Williams got a penalty against the, uh, who was it? It was against the Falcons. Against the Falcons. I thought it was a pretty bullshit penalty. But anyway, but anyway, he played for the first five games. Um, I remember towards the end of the Cowboys game where the Giants were getting absolutely pummeled. And Kadarius Tony started a fight and all that other stuff. Um, Rodarius Williams actually tore his ACL and was declared out for the season. In terms of stats on that year, Rodarius Williams played about 15% of the defensive snaps in those five games. Had a completion percentage allowed of 100%, so four for four quarterbacks were against him. 70 yards, one penalty. A touchdown, 158.3 passer rating. Now, the sample size, also a tackle. Sample size, not big, so you can't really make any justification for this, that, and the other thing. Um, and that's really pretty much that for 2021. So coming into 2022, the Giants need corner depth. And also, they need scheme fit, right? So Aaron Robinson's there. Adoree Jackson's there. There's a couple other guys also factoring in. They cut Maurice Kennedy, so they're really looking for experience and scheme fit. And Rodarius Williams obviously is coming back from an ACL injury, and he really doesn't play in the preseason. He ends up going on injured reserve on August the 31st, 2022. And he actually gets activated in November, which a lot of Giants fans thought, this guy's not going to get activated. He's another, you know, just Gettleman bust or whatever the case may be. But he comes back, and he's healthy, and it was actually at a decent timing too, because around that time, Adoree Jackson got injured. Um, against the Detroit Lions. So you had Radarius Williams possibly playing on one side. You also had Darnay Holmes in the slot. You had Nick McLeod. You had Justin Lane. You had a couple other different guys factor in. And obviously, also Fabian Moreau, I forgot to mention. Um, you know, it just wasn't a good, I would say, few games for the defense corner wise. Also, Zion Gilbert, too. And. Total-wise, in terms of 2022, Rodarius Williams played three games, had one interception that was against, I believe, the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. I remember that because Dak just threw a duck and Rodarius Williams intercepted it. He also had two pass deflections and 15 tackles. Now, also in coverage, coverage stats-wise, 
68% completion, which isn't good for the three games. I mean, it's a sample size, once again, not very big, but 68% completion, not great, 151 yards. Passer rating, okay, 72.7 and 15 tackles. Now, the reason why he didn't play so many games down the stretch is because, like Tay Crowder, he opened his mouth on social media about the Giants not playing him for a few games, and they still were going with Nick McLeod. They were still going with Fabian Moreau and some of the other guys they had rotating in. And personally, me, if you guys go back to the videos, the podcast episodes, I said, look, we got to give this guy a chance because whether it's the slot, whether it's the outside, he fits the scheme. He is a man corner. Um, And then he opened his mouth, didn't really make a case for himself, and got benched over the next few games. And the only other game that I remember he was activated for was the last game against the Eagles where, if we're being pretty fair, he got torched a little bit. Now, obviously, the Eagles played their starters, which obviously the Giants did well against, whatever you want to make the case. And uh, Rodarius Williams really didn't play well that game, and he was inactive pretty much from then on. So, right now, as it looks, outside looking in for Rodarius Williams. Now, his competition looks like this. Amani. Oruwarie, 2019, fourth-round pick. At least I believe he was selected in the fourth round. Out of Penn State. He p- can play both man and zone, uh, but he hasn't had good results in his career. Whether you want to argue it's Aaron Glenn's fault or the past defensive coordinator, whatever the case may be, he hasn't been good. He hasn't been good. Uh, the Giants signed him for depth reasons. Jamon Green, he is a corner, I believe, out of Michigan, so we'll see what he brings to the table when it comes to training camp. Aaron Robinson, who has pretty much had an injury-riddled career to this point, started off the first few games of 2021 on IR, then came back, and then a little bit of an injury problem in 22, and we'll get into that in a separate video. Uh, Leonard Johnson, who tore his ACL last year, I think he was an undrafted free agent out of Duke, and uh, he is a scheme fit apparently, but I think he's another one that's outside looking in. Darnay Holmes, who has been the slot corner for the last three seasons, and is a questionable fit for this scheme, but we'll see what happens. He probably has the most experience out of the corners we've been talking about, other than Aru Warrier. And then Zion Gilbert, who had some snaps last year as a slot corner and just playing overall on special teams too. And also, I must add two things. Uh, Rodarius Williams on special teams in terms of snaps, 8% last year, 11% the year before. And eight games in two years, which is, what, four games a year? I almost said three years, but eight games in two years is not a good track record, uh, especially if you pissed off the coaching staff to this point with that comment that you made on social media just saying and listen i like the guy i think he could fit in the system but i think maybe things may too maybe too late i don't know how he can win excel in man coverage make plays on the ball and run support excelling in man coverage i mean scheme fit right we need depth corners we need guys that can play man coverage and if he excels in man coverage Whatever way it is, pass deflections, making plays on the ball is pretty important. But if he excels in man coverage, he could kick out a guy like Darnay Holmes. He may be able to kick out a guy like Aaron Robinson. Now, obviously, these are just scenarios and conspiracies at this point. But I'm just throwing it out there because, hey, listen, it might happen. Uh, Run support in terms of talking about that. I don't know where he was in college in terms of run support. But the Giants need corners that can tackle. And Rodarius Williams, well... If he wants to get on the good side of the coaching staff, start making plays against the run. If they put you in that position. Also, you got to put yourself in that position, too. So, how can he lose a spot on the roster? Injury, as I said, four games over the... Four games, technically, in terms of average over the last two years. Five in the first year, three in the second year. Uh, And also, that's partially due to being inactive. So, there's that. But, don't open your mouth about lack of playing time. Injury, those two things are possibly ways he could lose a spot on the roster and being toasted by wide receivers in camp and preseason. I mean, he's probably going to be with the second and third team. If he gets toasted by those wide receivers, I mean, it might be pretty much over for him. So ways he could win, once again, accelerate coverage, make plays on the ball, and play well against the run, how he can lose. Injury, opening his mouth about roll and toasted by wide receivers in camp and also the preseason. And penalties, too. 
penalties are not a good thing that the you know the Giants don't need penalties. They don't need any more holding penalties. But anyway, my prediction is that he gets cut. I think the Giants are crowded in the corner room right now. Obviously, McLeod is more of a safety now as Jerome Henderson and Brian Dable and all those different guys told us. But R. Warrior, I mean, he's not a solid guy in terms of corner. Um, he's good corner depth. You really don't want him to start. Um, but I think he has an upper leg over a guy like Radarius Williams. Robinson, I think, has a little bit of that. Green and Leonard Johnson, not so much. Maybe Zion Gilbert's on the same level. Darnay Holmes, I think, is levels above uh, Radarius Williams to this point. So I think Radarius Williams is getting cut. We'll see, though. I'm always wrong on certain things. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when live stream pops or drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later. Stay cool, and we'll see you in the next one.